Hello viewers, through this video we explain an important property of standard division is that the standard division is independent of the change of origin but not of scale. A change in a variable is said to be origin change if a constant is added or deducted from all the values of the variable. On the other hand, a scale change in a variable is occurred when the variable is multiplied or divided by a constant. Let a variable x takes n values x1, x2, dot dot xn. The standard division of x is defined by sigma x square root of summation x minus x bar whole square by n where x bar is the mean of x and n is the number of the observation. Therefore, the variance is equal to summation x minus x bar whole square by n. Let subtract a constant a from the values of the variable x that is origin sense and divide the values by a constant its that is scale sense and let the new variable be u after the change in origin and scale of the variable x that is u equal to x minus a divided by h. Therefore, the variance of u is equal to summation u minus u bar whole square by h. Sorry, not h divided by n. And standard division of u is sigma u is equal to square root of summation u minus u bar whole square by n. Now, u equal to x minus a divided by h gives x minus a equal to h u which gives x is equal to a plus h u. Now, taking summation on both side, we get summation x is equal to summation a plus h is constant. So, here it is h into summation u. Here a is constant, so summation a is equal to n into a plus h summation u. We know that the sub n summation of n number of constant is equal to n multiplied by the value of the numbers like 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 5 times of 3 that is 15. Like summation a, if it is n number of a, then we will get n into a. Now, dividing both sides by n, we get summation x by n equal to a plus h 
summation u divided by n. Again, summation x by n is equal to x bar a plus its summation u divided by n is u bar. Therefore, x minus x bar is equal to, so this is the x, so x is equal to a plus h u, so this minus this, so a plus h u minus a minus h u bar. Here, a, a is cancelled and it can be taken common, so u minus u bar. Here we got x minus x bar is equal to h times of u minus u bar. Therefore, variance of x is sigma square x is equal to summation x minus x bar whole square by n is equal to summation instead of x minus x bar that is x minus x bar we can write h into u minus u bar. So, h into u minus u bar whole square by n that is equal to h square into summation u minus u bar whole square by n and that is equal to h square into so summation u minus u bar whole square by n is the variance of u. Here we get variance of x is equal to h square times of variance of u. Therefore, standard deviation of x is equal to h times of standard deviation of u. Or, standard deviation of u is equal to standard deviation of x divided by h. The original variable was x and the new variable was u is equal to x minus a divided by h. In case of standard division of both, the vari both these two variables, we see that, that the effect of h is seen in the formula of standard division while the effect of a is not seen is not seen in the formula of standard deviation so it's it proves that the standard deviation is independent of the change of origin but not of scale because we do not see any effect of a but we see the effect of h in the formula of standard deviation let us take in example that the values of the variable x is 2, 4, 7, 6, 1. Summation x is equal to 20. Therefore, x bar is equal to summation x by n is equal to 20 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 that is equal to 4. Therefore, x minus x bar that is x minus 4 is equal to minus 2 0 3 2 minus 3 and x minus x bar whole square is 4 0 9 2 9 That is not 2, it is a 4. So, summation x minus x bar whole square is equal to 26. Therefore, 
standard division of x is equal to square root of summation x minus x bar whole square by n that is 26 by n the square root of 26 by n n is 5 and that is equal to 2.28 now let us take again variable u such that x plus 3 that is we add a constant or we add a constant 3 to the values of x and we get 5, 7, 10, 9, 4. So, summation of u is equal to 35. Here, u bar is equal to summation of u by n, that is 35 by 5 is equal to 7. Now, u minus u bar that is u minus 7 is equal to minus 2 0 3 2 minus 3 so square of u minus u bar is 4 0 9 4 9 so summation of u minus u bar whole square is equal to 26 therefore Standard division of u is equal to summation u minus u bar whole square by n equal to square root of 26 by 5 is equal to 2.28. Since the standard division of x is equal to the standard division of u which is 2.28. It proves that the standard division is not affected by the change of origin. Now, let us divide the values of x by a constant that is 2 and we consider the new variable as a b. Then we get 1, 2, 7 by 2, 3, 1 by 2. Here, summation of b is equal to 10. Therefore, v bar is equal to summation v by n, that is 10 by 5 is equal to 2. Therefore, v minus v bar is equal to minus 1, 0. 3 by 2, 1 and lastly minus 3 by 2. Now, V minus V bar whole square is equal to 1, 0, 9 by 4, 1 and 9 by 4. Now, summation V minus V bar whole square is equal to 1 3 by 2 therefore standard division of v is equal to square root of summation v minus v bar whole square by n and that is equal to 13 by 2 divided by 5 and that is equal to square root of 13 by 10 and that is equal to 1 point one four so that is equal to half of the standard division of x because standard division of x is equal to two point two eight here the standard division of the variable x which was divided by two is equal to one point one four so that is the half of the standard division of origin variable x. Here we have seen the effect of scale change in the value of 
the standard deviation of the original variable x. So, the standard division is affected by the change of scale. Thank you.